Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. Welcome back to episode two of our Impractical Factorio series, where, to be honest, things are looking um, a little bit practical. Um, we haven't really got into that part of it yet. Um, I want to go ahead and refill that guy up, and then we will head up here and start thinking a little bit about a more permanent temporary smelting setup. So, yeah, uh, I want to run the furnaces, I believe, um, right down this way. And uh, we've got science. What do we want to do next? Um, let's do, let's do, let's do military. Let's do, go ahead and get a gun. We do have biters in the area. Um, so, yeah, I want to, I want to build stuff this way. And uh, let's see, we have copper on that side. We have iron on that side. So it seems logical that we would do iron on that side, copper on that side. I have stone right there. So, yeah, I think that's just going to work out, work out just fine. Um, so I'm going to go to my blueprints. Um, I do a, uh, a series on the side um, called Kitch's Blueprint Book, where I've been going through and developing uh, some blueprint books uh, for, for use. And uh, one of the uh, episodes I did was my smelting uh, book uh, episode. Uh, I'll put a link to that down in the description where I designed this blueprint. But um, this is my half stack that I use for starting out. Um, there's no real uh, reason to have a blueprint, uh, actually, for this starting out, because we don't have robots or anything like that. However, for smelting blueprints, I do find them very handy because um, we can use them to uh, kind of just design stuff, get stuff laid out. Um, I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve spaces in between those. And um, there is actually a little bit of a reason for that that we will get into probably a lot later. Um, I, I, I don't know how I feel about building all of this stuff right in the middle of this big giant pile of rocks, but um, very little we can do about that now. But yeah, um, I mean, they're going to have to be moved eventually, um, so we might as well just go ahead and get them out of the way. Um, so yeah, this blueprint right here is uh, for what I call my half stack. And uh, my half stack is uh, basically enough furnaces in order to uh, both consume and smelt a half a yellow belt of iron or copper. Hence the name, uh, half stack. Uh, there's also a full stack that we can upgrade this to that will be enough to do a full amount. Okay, and uh, let's see. We need to get uh, we need to get some of this other stuff too, and we cannot because we are out of copper. Uh, so let's go ahead and um, place. Oh gosh, I'm gonna go kitch. Let's go ahead and get some of this stuff uh, placed down. Um, things like the furnaces. Go ahead and get them out of our inventory, out of our pockets. And uh, we'll do copper over on this side and iron over on the other side. And uh, then we can do the fun and thrilling, exciting in manual inserter placement on the blueprint. Um, luckily, it's going a little bit quicker. I'm, you know, I made the joke about uh, not being able to talk very well while I do this. Let's go ahead and get, uh, let's get turrets. Uh, we're going to beef up military-wise, even though we don't have, we're not making anything military. And probably it won't be for a little while. We might as well go ahead and get the technology for when it comes. All right, this is a lot of inserters. Um, 96 of them, actually. 96 uh, inserters and 48 uh, furnaces is what you need in order to create uh, two half stacks um, and, and get smelting going. In reality, uh, probably the iron one, uh, we could get that going and, and just call it good for a little while. Uh, but, uh, eh, might as well get them both going. All right, I'm going to leave that there for a little bit. We're going to run down. Uh, we're going we're gonna to redo our iron, uh, get all our furnaces and stuff filled up. And uh, what's going on with you? Oh, you're out of, you're out of stuff to uh, mine. That's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put, put some stuff in you. And let's see, what did we need? We needed some copper to make some of those. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and make like 10 of those. And let's make like 15 of those. 
And let's go ahead and grab any of this transport belt that we have. And uh, grab a little bit more iron, and I'm going to throw just half of it in the box to, to, keep, uh, to keep all that stuff moving. How are you guys looking on copper? 50? 50. Yeah, we never have to worry about copper there. Uh, turrets is done. Let's move on to um, electronics. Go ahead and get that one out of the way. All right, and we have some belt that we can place here. And uh, power poles. We'll go and get those in. I don't. Uh, I don't necessarily care for the the connecting of the wires and the blueprints. It gets. It, I find it very distracting, especially here in the dark. And uh, I'll get optics soon, and we'll get some lights up because um, I, I do play. I am playing in vanilla. Um, I put in a lighting mod for my last series, and boy, was it ever nice. Um, and I, I may add that later. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll just we'll just see how we'll just see how bad it is. Um, I'll try to be a lot better at getting lights in. I don't know. I kind of like the the atmosphericness of the uh, uh, let's see. How do we want to do that here? Um, there's going to be a three, right? Then four. No. Um, did I not leave enough space? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four. And two. Okay, yeah, that's that's what I wanted right there. That's what it was. Okay, you're going to come up. You're going to go on that way. All right, and uh, this one right here is going to be our coal belt. Um, it is going to split coal off of this line, put it on the inside. We're going to have our ore coming on that side, and it's going to go the outside. Um, so it's going to be split between the two sides. Pretty standard setup like that, and that is pretty much ready to go. Let's see, how many miners can we make? We can make two. That is not going to be enough. Let's go down and grab some more materials, and we'll get some miners built. And uh, while we are working on miners... We will uh, do a little bit more planning and uh, see if we can't uh, figure out how this is going to go. Um, so at least at the start, uh, we're going to want um, four iron as well as four copper. Um, then I want to leave a little bit of space. I think I want to leave... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe eight. And uh, I'm going to have uh, stone smelting off to that side. And then if we need to add additional copper, we can add it off into that direction. And I also have a blueprint here for um, a half stack of steel smelting, which is doubled up a little bit. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll start that there. Uh, we can put another steel smelter there, and then if we need any more iron, it will go down on that end. But that's going to be our, our basic setup here. Um, also, what I want to do is I want to just get my full stack blueprint, um, which is this guy right here. And I just want to go ahead and just plop this down on top. We're not going to build it yet, but... Uh, this will tell us eventually how long this line is going to be. So any other building we can do, we will want to build after this because all this space over here, this, this whole area right here is reserved for the expansion of our smelting in the future. All right, that is all looking pretty good. Um, I may go ahead, let's go ahead and get, let's see, can I take that there? I can, let's take that there. And we'll go ahead and bring power down and get all that stuff connected. Um, that is not a good place for you to be. That'll go across like that. And, and the north meets the south. All right, grab a couple more. We'll just get some of these. Uh, we'll throw all of you guys into there. 
get some more belt, and uh, we will go up and start getting iron smelting. We've got 14 miners. I think that will be plenty starting out. Might as well just go ahead and saturate this furnace as well as we can. That's probably actually more than we need. But uh, don't have a problem with that at all. Um, you're going to be the first one in, so we'll just take you across. I don't know. Uh, as we get more lines, we can reorganize that later. I'm pretty happy with the way that is right now. Um, I don't want to take that across on the back because we may want to expand that someday. So we want to take it across on the top. All right, and uh, there is iron um, feeding in. We have. Uh, we don't have a lot of we don't have a lot of miners, do we? Let's see, we can get five more. Might as well go ahead and get those. Uh, we got plenty of belt. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Stone is going to start right here. Let's uh, start a line of these guys, and I don't know how many we need starting out. Let's start out with four. I don't know. That seems that seems like a good good way to start out with. Of course, we uh, want to take them right through this thick area of trees. Hey, okay, that's going to come over like that. And I don't think I'm going to uh, acknowledge the blueprints right now. I'm just going to run this straight just because I don't want to have to make all those materials. However, I am going to recognize that one right there. All right. And uh, let's see. Power. Probably best to take it from right over here. Again, taking that on the top. I like to take it on the top because I want to put my next miners like right here. And if we have a power pole coming down here, we'll have to rework the power. Um, let's see. You are out of juice. Let's just go ahead and grab one more little thing of coal here. Go ahead and get these guys powered up one more time. The, um, the usefulness of these is starting to deteriorate uh, rather rapidly. So what we may go and do is uh, just kind of let these guys burn out. Fill you guys up. We'll take the transport belt. Um, you know what? We may go ahead and just take these guys just out. That'll make the iron last a little bit longer and uh, get working on strictly, uh, strictly science. And speaking of science, uh, what do we want to do? Let's do automation two. Sure. Actually, I think that one's rather expensive now that I'm thinking of 80. Yeah, like optics is 10. Let's let's do the low hanging fruit on the um, on the the fairly low level uh, starter factory we have going there. OK, here comes our coal in. It's starting to populate on the copper now, and that'll be hitting the iron here very shortly. OK, there it goes. So we are getting, we're starting to get real iron smelting going. Um, we have 11 of these. Why do we have 11? I don't know. Oh, because we only put, we only put four miners on the coal. That makes sense. We're making them in groups of five. We only put four out there. All right, so that will go in there and feed that. Um, are we almost out of power poles? It would appear so. Let's go ahead and create some more of those. Get these guys powered. All right, and um, we should we should have some smelting here soon. Uh, okay, we do not have smelting because we do not have. Um, power but we do now and uh there goes some iron smelting all right i want to go ahead and just move these guys here on the end and i actually want to create a couple more of these at least i would if i had some more iron iron and uh we do have inserters right uh can we get the next level of inserter we can so we probably want to make some of those Get 
yeah, let's make like, uh, oh, five of those. Um, and one, two of those. Throw some additional iron in there. We gather this stuff up just to have in our pocket. Um, that's pretty much obsolete now. Getting getting very close um, as the coal starts to fill in on this guy right here. And it, it, it looks like it's going really slow, but it, it actually will catch up here shortly. Look at this. We've already got a nice full line of iron here ready to go. All right, just temporarily, we want to get this guy set up right here. There is optics. Let's do steel. Uh, you are going to go back to making transport belt. You are going to go into making gears. Uh, we don't have power down here. Uh, what we can do, though, is just run the these power poles. They will be filled in eventually. Might as well do it now. And... Uh, now you are making and i wanted to get a couple of these guys going as well with a box and let's see did we not get enough inserters no we did not uh well you are eventually going to be making some ammo just uh want to get that automated making so that uh we don't have to worry about it We've got an extra, we got a nice big thing of iron going here. We might as well use it. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, you don't have power. There we go. All right, and while that is working, I'm going to go around and uh, let's see about just to, we're going to we're going to worry about defense early. I didn't I didn't worry about defense pretty much at all last time. Um, and and I want to do that. So let's get a nice big handful of copper as well as a nice big handful of iron. And uh, we'll go about uh, doing this proper. Mm, actually, I probably don't even need to be filling these guys up anymore because they are probably... Sixty, eighty, two hundred and sixty-two. That's going to be fine. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about filling these up anymore. Just once they're done, they're done. And uh, let's see. We're starting to get some turrets now. Uh, we don't have any ammo though, so let's go up to the top. And I guess we'll start working from the top down, since uh, that's where our ammo is at. Is up there. All right, well, we definitely want a turret up here defending our bullet making. Um, seems like that would make a lot of sense. 20 bullets. I don't know if that seems reasonable or not. Maybe starting out, we'll just go with like 11. We don't even know if that area is going to get attacked. Um, okay, let's see. Let's put one, put one right here. Um, probably want to get this side as well. As well as down below. Can we get like one? It seems like if we put them like right here, that looks like it's going to cover really both sides. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, let's just go up here and see if we have a little bit more ammo. And uh, we should have a radar. I may want to go ahead and put one of those right here. Now, eventually, this is going to be a walking pass, so that's going to have to be moved. But for right now, um, it's it's fine. Let's go ahead and place it. Um, we are going to want a turret over here guarding these guys. Um, definitely one down here on the power. That's like, uh, 
Definitely. Uh, probably also, uh, what's our radar coverage? Actually, it looks like that one covers uh, quite a bit. Uh, well, we have two. Let's uh, go ahead and place two. And uh, we probably want some turret coverage up here on you guys. And uh, I went ahead and it made an extra miner. I want to go ahead. It just seems like uh, it's the 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 coal situation is probably fine. Um, but you know, since we're here, and uh, we will put one right here as well. Steel processing is done. Let's go to heavy armor. Sure. All right, so uh, what does that look like? Um, that's covered. All that's covered. All this is covered really well. We have a big weak spot right here. We have a weak spot up there at copper. I'm not too concerned about this one in the middle, but probably should be. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and get one just up in this general area. Just to say we did, and uh, we'll get a second one right here. But right now we're out of ammo. Actually, we could just uh, we'll, we'll we'll hand make it. Eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right. Well, we have got smelting running. Um, iron looks like it's running pretty good. Uh, copper looks like we're a little bit light as far as miners go. However, we don't have a big demand on copper right now. It, it will eventually back up like it is, and uh, that, that line will fill up. We need to get more miners on copper, but there's not a really huge hurry for it. Go ahead and get these rocks out of the way um, just because we can. And uh, yeah, we've got we've got we're making some transport belt. We've got a lot of transport belt, as well as ammo, and we've got a pretty good amount of that. All right, so um, next episode, what I think I'm going to focus on is just kind of getting the bus layout. I mentioned I'm going to try something a little different with the bus this time, and um, I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, but we'll get that all planned out and maybe get uh, a couple of the first factories up and running. I'm pretty excited about it, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to ready to get started. Uh, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.